What's up, everyone? This is Jen Delio, Ski TV. Right next to is Quincy and Chris Brown at their charity kickball event. So, who wants to tell me how you guys came together to do this event? I mean, I mean, I could start. I mean, you know, me and Chris been been cool for mad long. Of course, you know, him coming up in the industry at a young age. You know, I'm I'm getting my break now, but I've just been around. You know, I mean, of course, through my family and whatnot. And uh, you know, I mean, with everything, it's all about giving back. You know, and it's, it's, it's summertime. A lot of kids get in trouble around this time. It's the summer they ain't got no school. You know what I mean? So we're trying to bring everybody together, do something good, give back. You know what I mean? So we decided to, you know, team up a holiday at him. He was down with it, and the rest is history. I mean, you can say something if you want. Who from uh, Quincy's team surprised you? Surprised me? I didn't, it really wasn't anybody that surprised me. It's just I already knew that he had the team. Like, he had a, an amazing squad, and it was like a school bus full of kids and, and school bus full of team players. He had NFL players and soccer players. So we had to kind of we had to kind of fight for Floyd. You know, we was like, man, we need Floyd. We need Floyd. He, he kind of was in the game and out the game, but, you know, we pulled through, got a victory. But all in all, it was just a great day, man. I had a great time. This is my bro right here. Being able to come out and just, you know, seeing all the kids have fun and, and all the fans. It was a lot of people, so I just was excited that we got a chance to do this for them, do something for our charities, and do something to give back, man. It was just fun. Do you have any tricks up your sleeve or how you're going to taunt them? I mean, you know, we champions. All we do is win over here, you know what I'm saying? We all winners over here, you know what I'm saying? Who from the other team do you think is going to be the worst? The worst? Uh, I bet Money Paris Hilton is not the kickball player. Yeah. Okay, do you have any plans of how you're going to taunt them? Um, No, no. See, my game kind of speaks for itself. I've already decided that I'm going to be the deciding factor on who wins or loses. So since I'm on Quincy's team, just prepare to say congratulations to Quincy later because uh, I write songs and play kickball. It's really an eclectic group of people. It's fun. It's like all my friends are here. Happy to see my girl Amber Rose here, looking beautiful. Apparently you're the new coach here, so what does the team need to do to win the game? Yo, we got to play smart. You got a lot of real athletes out there, like Game, Deshaun Jackson. So they got to try to like either get it on the ground sl real slow and not try to uh, kick it as high and try to get on base, use your legs. Who has surprised you so far from the other team? Who surprised me? No, no. You know, I see these guys all the time. Deshaun Jackson obviously is, is talented. Uh, game is, you know, although he's a, he's a rapper, he's still athletic. What did you learn from this game that you would talk about on your show? Oh, I would talk about how people are out to get you from the jump and how they use other things against you. I'm saying they had the referee in the bag from the beginning. I seen Chris over there talking in his ear. I think he slid him about a 20 or so. So you always got to know, you know, as long as you're paying somebody fair, you have a chance. But if you're not playing somebody fair, this is what happens. Is there anyone on the field that surprised you? Oh, Amber. She did her thing. Amber was really good. Like, she was the one that was teaching me about the game because, you know, I'm your girl. I didn't really know a thing or two. But she was up there doing everything. She was good. And lastly, let's just tell everyone where they can find both of your guys' charities. Okay, well, my charity is symphonicglove.com. You can go check that out. And, uh, you know, just give back and, and see what we're all about and see how we want to just spread our love and our hearts to the community, man, and just uplift the community. It's all about that. It's about leadership, you know, leading our youth and letting our youth be the leaders as well. So, What about yours? And I'm actually developing my foundation very soon. No title yet, but for this event, I chose Best Buddies. So you can uh, log on Google. Google Best Buddies, you know what I mean? Just get a chance to, you know, get involved with disability kids, give back, allow them to do things that, you know, the normal people can able to, you know, able to do. So, you know, we out.